round game. We in this in this thing I say a round game. We in this in this thing I say a round game. We in this in this thing I say a round game game. We in this in this thing I say a. It's our, mm, hey, talking about the Aries. It's winning season. We be talking about them Aries. Ain't your video if you ain't looking for no Aries. Turn up, turn up. We be talking about them Aries. What's up, Ram? Gang, 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 gang. What's up, baby? <laughs> Welcome to the Mocha Love Tarot Channel. Hey, boo, hey, if this is your first time you and this is some other sugar girl, Mocha. Y'all forgot my damn name. Okay, Mercury Retrograde. <laughs> this is a bonus retrograde reading for them views, boo. Thank you, y'all. I love those who love me. I got to reciprocate, okay? Reciprocity equal give and take. So, thank you. This is for you. Yes, I am still going to do the 1st to the 15th of August. I'm taking my own sweet time because if this retrograde ain't teaching y'all nothing else, so it's not going to teach you anything else. It's definitely going to teach us self-care. Some of us have lost the self, okay? This is for my sun, moon, rising, Venus, and cross-watchers of Aries. I don't know why I'm trying to lose my voice. It's trying to hit the dough. But I refuse to go out with like that. So, you know, we going out with a bang. You understand if I go out with no voice. Even if I ain't got no voice, I'm going to write this shit down and be extra, extra real about it. You understand? So, yeah, understand this. Ain't no silence in the kid, all right? So, um, this will be just pretty much the video for the retrograde period, okay? Um, what Aries can expect? What are we leaving behind? What are we healing from? How the re is going to affect us? This is the season of re. Rebuilding, reconnecting, rebirth, renewals, okay? Uh, reunions, reconciliations, uh, for well, some of us, it's reuniting with our twin flame. So for those of you who have not found your twin, bad out. This Mercury retrograde going to bring out a mature twin. Okay? So, here goes nothing. This, of course, is a general. It's not personal. Okay? It may or may not resonate with everybody. Okay? But if it does resonate just a little bit, maybe not all of it, just you want to personalize for you, get a personal reading. That information can be found in the boop, boop description, boo. Now, let's get it. Let's get it. Y'all been waking up so goofy every day. <laughs> yeah, I have three, three. Um, first I'm gonna I'm gonna start off with the Crystal Angel, uh, the the Doreen Virtual Crystal Angel Oracle cards. This retrograde is fucking me up. All four, the foes of them. Y'all know I'm an Aries, Sun, Pisces, Moon, Libra rising, and a Gemini Venus. Okay, so with Mercury in the play, they go my Gemini. Right, Mars in the play. Bam, Aries, Neptune in the building. Huh, to my Pisces. Okay, and Libra also. I'm a double cardinal, so. It's going down in my world. So if I stutter, 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 just stutter, stay with me, baby. Okay, let's get it. All right. So we jumping off. All right. For the sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Aries. All right. And cross watchers. The first message that I have for you was the angel message. As a right. I think I got this for us um, mid month. Not one hundred percent sure, but all right. From what I'm seeing in these cards, even with Gaia, Mother Gaia wanted to speak to Aries. I'm going to give you those messages afterwards, but we're going to start with Doreen Virtue. Y'all, this is a very emotional time. I don't know if y'all been crying as much as I've been crying, but I've been crying. Especially, I put on that damn Lenny the other day, y'all, and I and the tears were running down my face. Okay, that look here. <laughs> it was going on, all right? I started thinking about 2006 when that bastard had left me and it was raining and I was on the bus. Look, I had a emotional, okay? Purge it. Let it all out. This is the time to let it all hang out, okay? Let it out. Authenticity, all right? This is the, the season, all right? So, as a right, deep emotional healing. Your heart is ready to heal from past experiences and you are willing to devote time and energy toward therapeutic care, okay, Aries? We get this card. It's beautiful. And it's right. It's a crystal. <clears throat> this is a positive card showing that you're ready to process and move on from the painful experiences and trauma. This means that you're open to receiving healing energy and insights about your experiences. You're guided to devote time for your personal healing work. This may involve appointments with a therapist or healer 
or spending extra time in prayer or meditation or on self-care practices. Detoxification from chemicals and processed foods and also negative influences come up very strongly for you right now, okay? So it's time to purge. It's a time to detox. You may want to take spiritual baths, maybe fast every now and then, okay, to properly um, kind of connect with spirit. Okay, so you can get your answers all the way. Right now, our intuition is very keen, so trust what you felt the first time, okay, about anything. Topaz, forgiveness heals. It's the next message. It says, time to release repressed anger as it's blocking your health and happiness. This is a beautiful sign from your guardian angels who love you so much and want to help you reach the next positive level in your health and happiness. They can see that you're being blocked and held back by repressed anger and resentment. Most likely you already know what needs to be released, but perhaps you've had difficulty letting it go. I can speak for me. I do. I really do. It's eight years old. I do. Forgiveness isn't condoning, accepting, or excusing someone's behavior. It means an unwillingness to harm yourself anymore. You don't have to like the other person or hang out with them. You simply need to disagree. I'm sorry. You simply need to agree to release their energy from your psyche. This card could refer to forgiving yourself for actions that you regret. Self-blame is as toxic as blaming others. The only thing valuable about reflecting on the past is learning from it, not holding on to the shame or guilt. Your guardian angels remind you that harboring anger only hurts you, not the other person. Repressed resentment is toxic to your physical, emotional, and financial health. All it takes is a little willingness to forgive, and God, Jesus, and the angels will do the rest of the work, okay? So it's just about really forgiving, not forgiving, you know, the other person and saying, okay, I'm going to let you back in my life. Because I strongly feel to tell Aries that it's the source of the hurt that's going to come about during this Mercury retrograde. It's going to be a, a, a real interesting time, okay? It's about balancing the mind, the body, the spirit, okay? And in doing that, you have to let allow those emotions to surface, okay? And I'm an Aries too, so as I speak, as I minister to you, I also minister to myself. This is a journey for us all. We are family, you understand? So let's rock. The next message is turquoise. For everybody else, two messages fell out. For Aries, three fell out prominently, and my angel said, go with it. So here goes nothing. Turquoise, spiritual path. Your true beliefs are becoming clear to you, which prompts you to make necessary life changes. Okay? So some of us, you know, I know that, I know that y'all have noticed how many Aries readers there have, have grown on YouTube. Y'all, most of our purpose here is to be spiritual teachers. We are the sage, baby. Through some of the hurtful shit that we went through, it built us to make us stronger, greater, and to enlighten others to not only prevent them from going through that, but to also be there. We Most of us are empaths, to empathically be there to love them through it, okay? And to guide them through, the, to get to the other side without going through some of that hurt, all right? Those are the seeds that we're planting, baby. This was one of Mother Gaia messages, but I'm going to get to those in a second. But I'm just seeing how they are the synchronicities of everything, synchronicities of everything. This card comes to you because you've been praying and meditating about your spiritual path. You may be feeling conflicts with your true beliefs, wondering whether to take a traditional or alternative route. Perhaps you've been studying or attending different religious and spiritual groups, trying to see where you fit in and find other people aligned with your values. It's time for soul family. They finally need We all find each other. Hell, you found me. Your religious upbringing and family culture are factors here. While you would like to make your spiritual path decisions independently, you find yourself being influenced by your past. You also want to make the right choice that is best for your soul, and you do not recognize that some traditional beliefs have merit. Even when the people have the same religious faith, they have different interpretations. It's unlikely that any two individuals agree on every aspect of religion or spirituality because it's deeply personal. A deep, it's deeply a personal experience. Your life lessons continue to shape your beliefs, so keep praying and following your guidance. Finding people who have similar or complementary beliefs, even if they're not identical, can lead to deep friendships and help you navigate your own spiritual path. This card can be about a relationship that is experiencing conflicts because partners have different religious or spiritual convictions. This is a challenging situation for both people, and it needs to be handled with prayer and often counseling, okay? So it says that turquoise stone bridges heaven and earth and brings sweetness and pure love into your spiritual and religious practice. OK, so for those who are going through our awakening and actually embracing that sage knowledge, embracing, OK, 
embracing that awakening that we went through mostly in the, in the months of between March and May, a lot of us were awakening to our gifts, to our spiritual gifts and to know that it was time to move to counsel others. OK, so don't be afraid of things that may come about. Also, you see this wolf right here? You're being protected. You're always protected. OK, because you have to go through those situations. OK, in order to build knowledge. See the owl, he's the overseer, but he's knowledge, he's wisdom, okay? Also, <clears throat> during this time with the retrograde, what could come about? The fact that I have two twos, a lot of y'all could be seeing two, 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 four, 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 four. Didn't I tell y'all it was twin flame season? A lot of us are going through balancing our, net, our, our dark and our light side, okay? During this time, a lot of us are being tested temperament, okay? Abandonment issues are coming to the forefront, okay? If you're dealing with the Libra, this person is coming into your life to bring you balance, baby, because you're off balance, all right? Don't be prideful. If this person is prideful, y'all got to get it together because whether you like it or not, this person is the for some of us, we're going through a dark night of the soul, okay, in order to find a light. But for some of us, it's about balancing the those that masculine and that feminine energy, okay, which for most of us, we are divine masculine. So with that said, most of our divine feminines are finding that they're finding their way to us. All right. For some of y'all, it could be another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. For some of y'all, it could be air. OK. Um, for some of y'all, it's water. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. All right. But you're going through this retrograde is going to bring a period of self-love, self-care. By healing those healing those past dark dark moments, okay? Because I feel like Aries, a lot of us are going through balance in our body and our mind. A lot of us will be eating differently. You'll find yourself using this Mars energy to work out, okay, to change your eating habits, all right? But for some of y'all, some of some of y'all have to balance your mind. I feel like you consume with your thoughts. You think about everything. For some of y'all, y'all some of us are Really wanting to open our heart to somebody, possibly an air sign, a uh, Gemini Libra, of course. We want to open our heart and our mind to this person, but for some of us, we have to get past the trust issues from the past, okay? But definitely, we also have to make a choice on what we want to continue to do. Do you want to continue to go in this damn door full of sorrow in the past and live there and feel like what the universe, what, why is the universe doing this to me? Because the universe is not doing anything to us, baby. It's doing everything for us, okay? Because that door there, that door there got a whole bunch of fucking snakes. Really, all of the door got the snakes, but you got to know how to identify it. And had you not gone through this portion of your life, okay, this regretful feeling and having to learn the lesson from it, it's not to hold the emotion. It's to gain It's to gain the enlightenment from the situation, learn from it, forgive the other person, forgive yourself, okay, and don't hold on to that. But had you not gone through this portion, had we not gone through this portion of our lives, baby, all right? Bringing balance to our world and trying to balance our, our darkness and our light side because understand this, you had to go through the goddamn darkness to find the light, to make a free will choice, to, to choose light. And during this time, we have to balance. Balance that feminine and that negative, that, that, that feminine and that masculine energy because I ain't gonna lie to you. I feel a lot of us are being tested in temperament. So some of the coolest comments, Aries, they're finna beat people up. In the last month, I already know because I'm not exempt. I told you as I minister to you, I minister to myself, all right? Um, but it's about balancing the mind and the body and the spirit, babe. Okay? So, and that brings that sage wisdom, all right? It brings that sage wisdom to help us make a choice. The choice that's going to better suit us. And I had to get this card close so I can explain it to you thoroughly because you know I don't read these cards for what they mean. For some of us, we're making the choice to start completely over. For some of us, we are starting completely over from scratch. We're getting a redo, but a renewal, we're doing so, okay? You see these two pinnacles right here? Some of us could also be dealing with a Taurus. I believe this was in Taurus or Scorpio reading, but I think Taurus. But you see this pinnacle here, okay? You see this pinnacle here? You see the snakes around it? I feel like some of us have people around us that's going to be exposed. The snakes, you only want to be my friend or you only want to be in my vicinity when I got something for you. But when I ain't got shit for you, this how you leave me feeling. Abandoned, neglected, rejected, pushed aside. It's time to stop going, stop crossing yards for people. 
who won't cross the street for us. Okay? This, I feel like some of y'all are going through, haven't gone through a door of communication and communicating your feelings. Okay, you can get you can come out this door and walk into this one. Okay, this is this is what we're doing right now. This is this is how I feel. This is what you're saying, how this makes me feel. I feel like some of us are walking through a door. We we know what we want, but we're really not communicating with this sword being turned upside down. Okay? We keeping it to ourselves, which is at the end, at the end of the day, it's like we kind of leaving ourselves blinded. Or literally prisoners of our own mind because it leaves us in a conflicted place where it's hard for us to make that choice. So I ask you today, this retrograde is about Aries. What is it that you want? What do you really want, Aries? This door, a door of enlightenment. Think about it. it has Look at this door. It has no nothing, nothing above it. You don't know. Mystery door number three. Mystery door number three. See the little, I feel like it has to do with a teacher. I look at the apple, I immediately think teacher's pet. Or fruition. This is the door that we walking through to go down this path right here. But the seeds that we have sown, you see the path is narrow, baby. Everybody can go with you down this door. A lot of us have been having faith. God wants us to continue to have faith and to know for those of you right now who are looking to have a baby, you see the story? This is a perfect time if you're looking even for those married couples who are looking to have a baby. You've been trying, you've been trying. Have faith that what you've been praying for, okay? What you've been praying for, baby, is coming. You need balance in your life. And this is the time to do it. And it's abundantly covered. You see the turtle? The angels got you, baby. You got to have a little faith and free, free ourselves from this mental prison. You see this little ring around? It's light up in here, so light. But it's like a little, under this sword right here, you really can't see it. It's like she has literally trapped herself in this sword facing down where she's not expressing anything but everything up here. Everything in her mind. Okay? Her whole world. She's trying to juggle all of that in her mind. Look how, look how much, how, 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 how expressive they are on the thoughts. But they're not being communicated. She's literally become a prisoner of her mind. You got to have more faith, okay? All right. And uh, y'all know I usually don't get songs. But for these retrograde videos, my spirit guy's been popping. So the song I got for Aries is, um, I'm going to shuffle these cards and I'm going to sing the song. <clears throat> y'all know I'm going to add to my heart. So I'm praying they come out right because I'm a perfectionist, okay? <clears throat> It's, um, I try to drink it away. I try to put one in the air. I try to dance it away. I try to change it with my hair. I ran my credit card bill up. Thought moving around make me feel better. I try to work it away. But that just made me even sadder. I try to keep myself busy. I ran around in circles think I make myself dizzy. Slept it away. I sexed it away, I read it away, away, away. Sometimes I don't want to feel those butterflies. I think she said middle clouds, huh? We're going to rock it. But it's like rains in the sky. Sometimes I don't want to feel those metal clouds. Aries. 
All right, during this retrograde period, I do see some of y'all might be actually putting in work with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, possibly another Aries like yourself. You have an Aries that wants to put in work with you, or this could be Aries starting something new, or y'all are going to be starting new jobs. Congratulations. I got a new job. <laughs> Congratulations, Aries. Um, also, some of you will be moving away possibly from a job. If you do lose a job during this time or you quit a job, just know that you're moving away and another job is going to be coming. Maybe you're going into a new cycle of not accepting less than what you deserve. This is the cycle of self-worth, self-care. It, my love, my honey boo, my honey boo boo child, self. This is the season, baby, of our original nature, our natural nature of the self. Self first, okay? If I ain't got it for myself, I ain't got it to give to your ass because it's a lot of energy that's taken that, 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 that that's taken from me. Trust me, the angels are tr they're 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 actually going with your decision of taking care of yourself. Because some of y'all, I feel like they've been moving y'all away from situations that no longer serve you involuntarily because a lot of us didn't make the decision, that choice <laughs> to hit it for ourselves. So the angels are doing what's best for us during this time, okay? We may not see it, but trust me, it's for our better good. Some of us are coming out of a cycle of dealing with people who put us in third-party situations, okay? Uh, strong emphasis on the air signs. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Some of y'all, okay, could be moving into a new cycle. I told you, if you have to turn your back on one job, you're going to get another one. It's going to be something that you really enjoy doing, okay? But some of y'all, it might require you to move away and start a whole new life. And this moving away is going to really put you in your power because I feel like some of y'all have been working y'all ass off at a place where you're feeling, where you don't feel appreciated, okay? But some of y'all, y'all cut that shit off and express yourself. But some of y'all, during this time, some of us are going to be moving away from our past, and we're going to stop trying to work it out with, some of us are going to try, stop trying to work it out with the earth sign, okay? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, I feel like you've been trying to work it out with this person due to finances, okay? But this person continuously puts you in third-party situations. This could be a, a air sign or a earth sign that's doing this to you. You come out of that, out of that mental jail of yours. You're just like, hell no, I, this is not, I'm worth more than this. I'm over taking sneaky shit from you, okay? Some of y'all have a very deceptive Aquarius that y'all finna get away from y'all. Y'all finna move away from, Aqu from an Aquarius, okay? Um, some of y'all are going to cut off a Taurus or could possibly be receiving some of us are some of, for those of you who have been defensive towards a Taurus, you want to start something new and move toward this person, but it's just something about them you don't fully trust, okay? I do see that for those of you who think that this person could be a little sneaky, yes, they are, and they're still going to put you in a third-party situation. If that's what you felt the first time, this is just confirmation because I felt like somebody was praying for it. Um, Aries, for those of us who've been going through financial hardships, that period is going to be ending coming up, coming through this retrograde. I do see new jobs, new money coming in the building, okay? I do see some of us is going. Some of us are going to be moving and starting completely over. Okay, if you're moving out of your city or your state to start a job that is going to go very well for you. So if you've been worrying about it, stop and just make the move. Okay. You also have the Ace of Wands. Some of us could also be, um, but some of y'all, y'all twin flame in Aquarius. Some of y'all, y'all twin flame in Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Some of y'all, y'all coming out of a period of a third party situation in order to move towards an Aquarius. Or Taurus. For some of y'all, you're getting ready to start something new. You have a new passionate beginning coming. A new opportunity, okay? And it's up for some of you for some of us, I feel like we have to make the choice to go forward towards it. For those of you who have musical gifts, musical abilities, start acting on that. Move on that because I feel like some of you have the ability to write, to sing, to create something that is having to be published, okay? And I feel like, especially if somebody tried to steal something from you in the past, if someone tried to steal something from you in the past or something that you worked on, okay, <clears throat> just know that now is the right time. The universe is supporting you to do that. Also, Aries, watch the snakes around you. I'm seeing two cards to emphasize snakes right now. You have to watch the sign of Cancer, Leo, and Gemini, okay? Or if you have been going through it with the with these with those three people who I named, you coming out of a cycle with those people because I feel like those three people have put y'all in third party situations. Some of y'all are working on a new a new uh, a new relationship 
or if this is a twin flame, some of y'all are working on a relationship with a cancer. Some of y'all could be working with the cancer, okay? And this cancer, if this person is a friend, they want to be more than friends to you. You're going to find that out during this retrograde. Some of y'all are moving away from a Scorpio. You're tired of working with this person. You're tired of putting in all the work by your damn self. So you're just going to move away from them. Some of y'all are moving out of cycles. If you've been somebody's girlfriend for some a long time girlfriend for a while, you're moving out of that cycle of a long time girlfriend. Some of y'all are walking out of this retrograde to proposals. Congratulations, baby. Congratulations on them jobs. Some of y'all got this baby energy around you. You better be careful if you don't want no kids. But for those of you who do want children, now is the time, baby. It's blessed energy. Uh, some of y'all are moving away from a earth sign because there's not an equal give and take, okay? I feel like this person's been very defensive towards you lately, or you've been defensive toward this person because you feel like they only there for finances. That person is going to be moving around real soon during this Mercury retrograde. I feel like they're going to be back, but it's up to you to really learn a lesson to know what it is that you will and will not accept. Some of y'all are ending cycles, okay, with an Aquarius, with the Taurus, or with the Leo, and going into new cycles, okay? Some of y'all are having to make a judgment call about moving away from an air sign or an air sign that's trying to move towards you or come back in during this retrograde time. And it's spirit is needing you to handle them like the Queen of Swords. Speak your truth, okay? Because I feel like this situation can be resurrected, especially if it's a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Strong emphasis on Aquarius. It can be... It can be resurrected, but you have to really speak up for yourself. What the hell will you are you are you going to what what are you going to or not accept? Okay. Also, again, Aries. I know we're talking about my Aries. Okay, this is definitely signifying Aries. Look at the cardinal bird up there. That's our red bird. A lot of you have a lot of a lot of you have new money coming. I feel like they go that new job again. Some of y'all could be, be getting information or have windfalls of money coming in during this retrograde. It's time for the re. If you've been struggling, baby, just get your attitude together. Balance yourself. You are literally creating. It starts with your mind, okay? You're creating your reality with what you're manifesting with your thoughts. Think about it. Can you, if you have the ability to think somebody up and say, you know what? I wonder what Sally doing today. And then all of a sudden you look at your phone and Sally didn't text your ass. Know that you are manifesting at a very quick way. So if you want finances manifest, be grateful for what you already have and just start thanking God for them already being here and watch them fall out of the sky, baby. Some of y'all, some of y'all are going to be receiving truth about a Scorpio, maybe that y'all been working with from your past. You've been trying to work, work out your relationship with this person, okay? But I feel like you're going to be walking away from people from your past, especially if this person is a Scorpio, because I feel like you're tired of putting in all the work and not receiving nothing back from this person. Um, some of y'all could also be getting truth and clarity from a, truth and clarity from a, uh, Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo as well uh, from your past. And maybe this person, maybe this person is thinking and feeling like they're putting in all the work Aries. Okay, so somebody could be walking away from you as well. I do see that you're going to be receiving, y'all going to be receiving something. Somebody's going to have to possibly leave their job. And I feel like this, whoever I'm talking to, you're not going to see it coming, baby. Your job is some of y'all jobs going to close and they ain't going to tell no damn body. But if that happens to you, just know that the divine is on your side. Karma, Mother Karma is on your side. You will get another job or possibly some type of financial opportunity that's going to come very light and fast. OK, I do see some of y'all could be if you were waiting on truth from an earth sign before you could start working on your relationship. OK, maybe in the past you thought that this person was using you for money or you were doing this to this person. Maybe you fallen in love with this person at this time. So you want to move away from deception or deceptive, manipulative behavior. You're okay, or this could be on the outsides of you, my babies. But I do see Aries, you're getting out of a cycle of accepting three party situations. Okay, I feel like if Aries, if you put someone in a three party situation, strong emphasis on an air sign or an air sign did this to you, y'all gonna move out of this cycle because for some of y'all, I feel like there is victory with moving away from what was okay and just learning the lesson. Either you're gonna go or you're gonna stay, but you don't have to see this defensive ass energy. Okay, because for some of y'all, y'all don't have to be so defensive. All right. During this time, you may find yourself a little defensive. When you find yourself being that way, pull back, take a deep breath and just. I'm not my circumstance. OK, this is another hurdle to the pinnacle of greatness. All right. So don't 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 look at things around the time. Some of y'all are going to be being defensive towards the Pisces or Sagittarius at this time. I feel like there was deception in the past, maybe a three party situation. This person could want to reunite during this time. OK, um, as well as the Aries, if you the Aries dealing with another Aries, this person is going to be reuniting during this time. I felt like for some of y'all, this is your wish. You actually want something new with this person. All right. 
But <clears throat> yeah, some of y'all intuitively know that somebody's gonna come back to her from the past and try to start something new. Okay, this could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Strong emphasis on the Pisces. This could also be an Aquarius. Some of y'all or a fire sign. If you've been in your head about a fire sign coming to you, starting something new, you're absolutely right. You trust what you felt the first time. For some of y'all. Okay, for some of y'all, you have a fire sign that comes back or that's coming back, okay? And I feel like this person moved away from you or abandoned you in the past. You could have a family with this person, okay? But some of y'all, y'all want to move forward and resurrect that and move forward victoriously, all right, with this person. But I feel like this could be a Leo as well, all right? But it could also be a Sagittarius, Aries. I feel like you're going to have to communicate with this person. This person does love you. There is a lot of love there. This person is very passionate about you. However, you need to let this person know, look. This is the shit that I'm not going to, I'm not going to, ha hello, I'm not going to deal with this shit. For some of y'all, this is a Libra, okay? <laughs> some of y'all have a Libra, all right, that is trying to bring your life balance. This Libra wants to nurture you. This Libra, this Libra looks at you as his queen of pentacles, okay? Some of y'all could also be uh, receiving, going to court and receiving some type of justice. Justice will be in your favor if you're going to court with an earth sign, all right, behind any type of child support, any type of uh, finances, okay? So you're going to court behind finances. The financial sector does look to be in your favor. Some of y'all could also be going through divorces and things of that nature, possibly with an earth sign, and you're worried about how finances will finances be split up, Um Fairly, they will be, okay? They will be split up fairly. For some of y'all, y'all going through legal cases with the Libra in court and shit, especially if you have a child with this person, which you don't know is this person don't even want to go to court anymore. They really just want their family. This is a petty court. This is some petty court shit. This can be worked out with communication and an equal give and take from both parties, okay? You're going to learn that during this Mercury retrograde. Some of y'all who had a uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or an Earth sign who there wasn't an equal give and take in the past with this person is coming back. They want to change things, okay? And for some of y'all, y'all been wishing for this moment to come. But I feel like for some of us, if you, handle, if you go at the situation defensive, okay, this person is only going to be patient with you for a little bit because just like you're having to do self-work, they're doing self-work as well. Okay, this is a very healing time, a time of the read. Everybody is shifting the perceptions, the mindsets, the egos, the pride. If any, something must die in order for you to gain something. What I did, I wrote down on a sheet of paper everything that was died. For, for me, I don't know about none of y'all, but ego and pride and temperament, whooping ass, fighting and shit, that shit has not got me far in life. As a matter of fact, it has set my ass back so many, so many courses, okay? Y'all know I will never lie to y'all. I keep it all the way funky with y'all. I keep it real because we family. When I spoke about soul family, here I go, here I go. I, I know my responsibility as a sage, as a spiritual teacher, okay? I know I just really want to accept that fully by embracing y'all as my family, just like I would tell my sister, then that hangover was serious. Y'all don't think y'all gonna get that work? Y'all gonna get all of it, all of this authenticity, okay? And anybody who worth having into your life, having in your life to really love them, if you gotta handle them with a mass, baby, they're not for you, or maybe you not for them. Aries, what do you truly want? Because for some of y'all, it's to reunite your family, to bring change to a family dynamic. For some of y'all, it's this coin. It's in the building. For some of y'all, it's truth and clarity before you move forward, going forward with somebody, okay? For some of y'all, it's clarity that you walked away from somebody for, and maybe this person then came back and got you feeling like, well, maybe was I tripping? And then, bam, truth and shit. Truth hit the fan, and now it's time for you to make a judgment. What you gonna do? You already know how to survive without this person. Shit, you did it when you built. What have you lost, Aries? If you ain't lost shit, it ain't worth resurrection shit. If, if, if this resurrection... It's not going to build you up or grow or benefit everyone around you, especially if you have a family situation, benefit everyone in the situation around you, baby. What have you lost? Because let me tell you what you gain. <laughs> you gain wisdom. Baby, you gain wisdom to know when to know when to move on like the fool. For some of y'all, y'all been in y'all head a whole lot about a Virgo from your past, maybe. Okay, or making a leap of faith or taking a leap of faith with a Virgo because you feel like, well, shit, I'm independent. I'm good by myself. My money good. I'm looking good. But it's lonely at night, sis. I don't know about y'all, but this Mars energy got me a little, a little spicy inside. So if you're feeling spicy like I'm feeling spicy, that lonely shit, that body going to start being real with you, baby. Oh, no, I need some love. I need some loving. Okay? 
and don't cheat yourself. Don't treat look, don't cheat yourself, treat yourself. Because for some of y'all, y'all have a water sign. That is everything that you've been trying to manifest. Some of y'all have a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Okay? And I feel like this is a new person. But this person is trying to give you the whole world. They wanna they wanna help they wanna help add to your coin. They're patient. They communicate with you. Okay? Some of y'all is a fire sign. Some of y'all is an air sign. All the, everybody is in the building, okay? But I will say, in order to have this victory, baby, you're gonna have to leave some shit behind. And some of y'all, y'all finna find out some secrets about a Pisces or a Scorpio. Alright? Everything that does, everything that's done in the dark will come to the light. All right. I don't give a fuck how much a person was trying to hold on to you or hold on to whatever. Because I feel like this Cancer Pisces Scorpio was holding on to an earth sign or was attached to an earth sign that's holding on to them for money. And y'all finna find out. So it's truly about my babies, the self. What does my self want? Because when I choose myself, that allows me to balance my mind and my body. And my spirit, because I know where I want to go. I know what I'm accepting, and I know what I'm expecting. And if what the fuck you offering ain't it, what do you want, Aries? Because, see, <laughs> you having faith. But have that same faith and starting over and making that choice. The past ain't where you're going. You can let that go and move forward, or you can, or you can live. In this state, down this door of disappointment, rejection, okay, lies, manipulation. Look at the snake looking at the, looking that bitch right in her crying face. Snakes around you that's gonna listen to your story and, and bite you later. Don't let, watch watch how much venom you giving your snakes is what spirit says. Spirit say stop giving your stop giving the snakes the venom to bite you with. Stop telling people your business during this time. Okay? I love y'all, my babies. I truly, truly do. Y'all hit me up for a personal reading if you need one. This is what I have for you during this retrograde time. But I must say, I'm going to check on y'all from the 1st to the 15th because Aries, what is it that you want? What you want, Aries? You got, it starts with you. You got to be real with you before you can be real with another person because that alone helps you make the right moves. You know where you've been and you know where you want to go. Especially if you embrace all the lessons where you've been at. We're spiritual teachers, Aries. You can't run forever. I love you, babies. Bye, y'all.